everyone. My name is Ali and I am over here just looking in the distance to our very good friend Mbula. On the camera we've got Viam who was lucky enough to show it this morning to us uh, alongside with James and we are super thrilled after a few attempts of trying to get out of camp because we had some problems with the communications and everything else but we finally managed to get here and now we get rewarded with the beautiful presence of this male leopard over here who luckily hasn't lost his skill um, seems like it's quite a big impala ram that he's got just all over there for himself as you can see he hasn't eaten all too much i think it's probably because the day has been quite hot and if you can see over there how just how quickly he's panting his tummy is starting to look just a little bit full, I would say. So definitely there's been some eating and some indulging in the impala he caught. And just as the day starts cooling down, luckily this afternoon we have a bit of an overcast weather, lots of clouds going around. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a better condition for him to just have his head up rather than hiding in the bush, waiting for everything to cool down. Oh, well, hello. So this particular boy that we're looking at, you can tell that he is a bit of an older guy. If you just look at and pay attention at the, the ears, you will see that they're very tattered, lots of cuts, lots of little things going on. Yeah, exactly like VM is showing you guys. And you can tell that it's a, it's a bit of a bull, uh, a bull, sorry, a male that's had a, quite a bit of uh, adventures in his lifetime. I think this particular male, he's come back from quite a bit. Um, when I saw him in the northern Sabisan just a few, I think I would say even a few months ago now, he was just still here, uh, around here passing by. It didn't seem that he was going to be all around. He was busy hunting porcupines, which is normally a good indication that this male is not doing so well, or maybe he's in the last legs. But look at him today, super proud with his big impala ram. So I am very happy for him because he is, well, one of my old friends and probably I'm slightly biased towards him because I used to know his mother when I used to guide down south in the Sabi San in the further southern section of the reserve, uh, the outcrop female, and she was definitely one of my favorites. Oh, look at him. Super hot. Thank you everyone for giving me such a warm welcome. I think, you know, if it started off as a third time was a charm for us to manage to get out of camp, but I mean, uh, we've been rewarded with this fantastic view of, not, you know, this wonderful male leopard, so I'm pretty happy about it. I hope you guys are just as thrilled as I am, just to see him also, just with his head up. Oh, hello. Maybe too many flies around, a bit of dirt, maybe even a little bit of blood here and there. Hmm. Hello, boy. You see, so he seems like he would want to do something, but maybe it's too late. Uh, Frida Point, you're wondering when he made this kill. Um, judging by the amount that's been eaten and the fact that he was found this morning, I would say that either early, early uh, to this morning, as I said, or probably late la last afternoon. He doesn't seem to have eaten all that much. There's still quite a bit left. I mean, like we said, it, we, he was just found this morning, probably found some tracks along the road where he was either walking to stock the, the impala or maybe he was just walking on their own heading to the nearest water source because he had already killed it. But definitely quite a fresh kill.